What is up everyone? Welcome to Matt Smith Magic. That's right, welcome back guys. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and always hit the thumbs up button. Thank you so much, it helps support my channel. Uh, as I said, if you're new, this channel is about magic set reviews and me doing magic. Also, it's getting young magicians into magic by uh, using magic sets, uh, just showing them what's out there and so forth, the classic way, basically, uh, just looking at ma uh, magic sets, all the different types of magic sets that are out there, from new magicians to old classic collectibles and so forth. As I said, I'm weird. I like to collect magic sets, but today's video is going to be over a magic set review that I got for Christmas. It's this right here, a TV magic show magic set. That's right. Uh, it's got a Marshall Bo uh, Broden in it, a very classic magician. I don't even know if he's still alive actually. I can try to figure that out real fast. But um, yeah, classic and magic uh, right here, TV magic show, old retro. Uh, nothing too crazy inside. It does have one trick that I'm not fam that I wasn't familiar with. That's kind of cool. It's, it's old, but uh, it doesn't come in most magic sets. So, anyways, we're gonna get on with the review. Tell me what y'all think about it. And like I said, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, and welcome to my channel. All right, on with the review. Hey everyone, what's up? We're back here with the. TV Magic Show Magic Set. That's right. Uh, this right here is from Nostalgic Toys, and I, I like that because, like I said, this is a very nostalgic set, a classic. It's been around for a while. Uh, it's got Marshall Broden doing the, um, the uh, magic in here, so it's really cool. Very classic. I mean, I, I like nostalgic stuff. So, uh, uh, not, not a whole lot of big things in here, but uh, let's go ahead and get on inside the kit, okay? Let's check it out. All right. So, the case is well put together. Uh, ah, you get your DVD, that's right. Uh, like I said, I like DVDs better than I do downloaded and stuff like that onto the phone because uh, I like to use my phone a lot, I like to text a lot, and I don't want to sit there and have to go in and out of the apps and so forth to text and blah, blah, blah. It's just too much annoyances. Uh, I use my phone a lot more for other things, so I prefer a DVD, pop it in at home and watch. It's a lot easier for me, but it does come with an awesome DVD with uh, some couple magicians, Magic Broden on here, and the guy that teaches you how to use the Squirmals. That's right. That's why I like this magic set a lot because of Squirmal. Never knew about him. Uh, anyways, moving on. You get your instruction booklet, which is really cool. I love the graphic artwork on this kit a lot. Like I said, it's it's, it's very nostalgic. That's why it's from, from Nostalgic Toys. Uh, this is gonna be the book that's gonna teach you how to do all the tricks inside the kit. And then you're going to get another 50 magic tricks you can do. So this is gonna give you another 50 magic tricks around the house that you can make and so forth around the house. Very detailed instructions, very awesome artwork look at that artwork that's so nostalgic right there uh, it's gonna give you um, different tips of how to be a magician and so forth but the artwork is amazing on here I really love this a lot actually uh, so you get another 50 tricks you can do at home and then you're also gonna get some instructions on how to use some of the other props inside of here with this on this little thing right here little different uh, cool things you're going to get a little stand to place all your magic stuff on. I have not put this together yet. Like I said, this is kind of brand new. I just got this for Christmas, so uh, it's pretty cool collectible. Uh, this right is gonna you're gonna fold this up and it's gonna be like a little cardboard stand right on there. It's gonna be a magic TV show stand. So that's pretty neat. Um, but let's get on in with what's inside. Also, um, props are pretty pretty good. Um, it does come with uh, cups and balls. I don't like the uh, color of the cups and balls. This is kind of like that Marvin's Magic color to where they're all kind of kiddish color. It's great and great for young magicians, but for, um, I mean, for using it for like, teenagers and so forth, I don't think it's going to fit too well because of the colors. You got red, blue, and yellow, so I don't like color-coded cups and balls. Some people do like that. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just not my cup of tea. And then you also have your balls. They're gonna be cotton fiber, kind of like pom-pom fiber. So not that great, great of quality either, but for kids, it is. So for kids, this is perfect, which most magic sets are for just kids. So that's kind of cool. Uh, you get your classic wand that also comes in this kit, which is pretty cool uh, if I get this thing out. It's not gimmicked in any way, but it is a classic wand. You can make this gimmick and do little tricks with it. Um, very, it teaches you some tricks to do with the wand. This is more for just misdirection, pointing, and so forth. So it does come with a classic wand. It fits nice and snug right in the little slots. Uh, you don't get sponge balls, but you do get sponge rabbits. Now, I do like this a lot. I, I love sponge rabbits. 
I like Spun Rabbits. You can uh, do a lot of things with the rabbits. Uh, you can make it look like they uh, had babies and multiply the family because you get four little mini sponge rabbits. You can vanish them just like you can the sponge balls. You know, the simple, simple vanishes in the hand and vice versa. Um, what other cool things are in here? Uh, you get the Chinese rice bowls. Yes, I like this trick. It has a black finish on it, so that's pretty cool. Um, you get the Chinese rice bowls. I do like this a lot. I've done a video over this to where you can multiply the rice or cereal or whatever you want and then boom, make milk or water appear in the rice or cereal, however you want to do it. It's really cool, really classic effect. Um, the cards are okay. They're of pretty decent good quality. Uh, you get some gimmick cards too, which is pretty nice. Uh, you get a couple of little packets of uh, gimmick blank cards, so that's kind of cool. So they give you a little pack of uh, blank cards. They also give you a, uh, a mind reader board, so that's kind of neat. So that this, is a, this is a mental trick to where you can uh, have anybody select a day, a month, of a birthday, anything that they would know on the month of the calendar, and then you will be able to read their mind. That's a classic trick that comes in a lot of magic sticks. So you get some blank gimmick cards plus the mind reader cards, and then another gimmick card right here that does some things. Uh, the magic, the cards are. I, I don't. I don't like how they say TV magic cards on the case. So you kind of kind of gonna give away some things to audiences a little bit, unless you're just really trying to play it off like you're doing a TV magic show scenery, which you could do with this magic set to be like, hey, I want to be a star of a TV magic show and act like you're on, you know, you're you're on TV. And then these cards would fit in kind of good. But just going out and messing with these or showing tricks with these, I would not. Um, it is this Fingali deck, so that's kind of cool. Uh, Moving forward, uh, you get this right here is a classic trick. You get the lollipop trick. So this is this is a very classic trick. You can show green and so forth. Uh, you can lick it, and then you can also like change the color of it to yellow or whatever. And then you can blue. You can like lick it. You know, simple things. Change the color. Turns red. Red lollipops or whatever. And you can stick it in a hat. Bring it back out. Changes colors. So this is a color changing lollipop. It's a classic in magic. I do like those a lot. It's very visual. Very cool trick. Really neat actually. Uh, what else do you get? You also have a secret drawer in here. Uh, I'm not a fan of this drawer box just for the fact that it says secret drawer on it. I don't like that. I feel like that's another dead giveaway of it being gimmicked. But like I said, for young magicians, it works out perfect. If you're okay with that young magicians, this, this works out perfect. Uh, to me, I wouldn't use it because like I said, it's going to scream this is gimmick because it says secret drawer on it. You can't really perform with that. But this is a vanishing drawer where you can produce your deck of cards, you know, your rabbits, whatever you want to produce out of here. Candy and vice versa. So what else do you get inside of here? So we covered all this stuff right here. You do get the the, the vase trick, the uh, ha ha vase trick. I've seen this several different names. Uh, so this is basically where you can hold the rope and then the vase is suspended in mid air and it's like it defies gravity and so forth. It's a classic trick. It comes with the thing that helps you out with a gimmick that helps you out with it and so forth. So that's, that's a cool trick. I don't see that a lot in magic sets. I've seen it in a few, but not a lot of magic sets. It just depends on the magic set. Um, you do get Houdini's Chain Escape. This does come in a lot of magic sets. This is of good quality, so it doesn't scream anything kitty. It's a nice silver finish and a nice gold padlock finish. So that's kind of cool, and it also comes with a key. Teaches you some ex Chain Escape beginner magic. Um, now, let's get into the last item that comes with this kit. The reason why I like this kit a lot, other than the nostalgic uh, look of it, is Squirmles himself. Magicians, everybody who's watching this, please leave in a comment if y'all knew about Squirmles. I did not know about this trick. I've never seen this before, uh, but apparently it's been around forever. So Squirmles can magic uh, magically in your hands. He can move. He can, he can go in between your fingers just like he's like literally like a real life worm. Uh, he can crawl around a pencil. He can jump in and out of cups. That is so cool. I'm still messing around with that. He can literally, it literally looks like he's jumping in from cup to cup to cup like that. It's like he's a live worm. They call him Squirmles, the magical pet. This is such a cool classic effect. Uh, you don't need to buy this magic set just to get him. You can buy him individually. I've seen him way cheaper if you just want to save the money and get him out if you don't know about him. But for this kid, he's pretty worth it to have this set plus the nostalgic and having him in it. I mean, it's so cool. I mean, the guy that teaches you how to use him is so cool at it, man. He makes it look so realistic like this thing is actually alive. I ain't gonna lie. I felt like a kid again just just seeing him perform at that. It looks, it just looks amazing. Like I said, I was sitting there messing around with my girlfriend. The worm was crawling in and out of my fingers, up and down on my chest. It just, it, it was just really cool. It was a really magical moment for me again. 
Uh, so that's 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 amazing. Uh, Squirmels alone, like I said, leave in the comment in the box if y'all knew about it or y'all have him or so forth, or if y'all gonna going to get him. Okay. Uh, all together, this kit is fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. I love the look of it. I love the props in it. Some of them could be better, but for magicians and young magicians, this is a perfect beginner magic set. It goes for at least $34. Uh, I've, I've seen it for $38, uh, $30, $25, and I've even seen it for as low as $15 on eBay. So that's the price on here. Not a bad kit at all. Tell me what y'all think about it. Leave some comments, and see you later.